honest, honest, honest YouTube happy now. Oh, snap. Almost tripped over a cord there. All is divine. Happy now. All is now. It's a gift to be in the present. Okay. Uh, it's a gift to be in the present. First, say signing back in here. Putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You are now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon. Horus transiting the fourth house. And it is moon day in a space and location where I'm at. And this is going to be a continuation of my Saturn placement. My last video was Saturn in Gemini. If you're watching now, this is going to be my interpretation on Saturn in Cancer. Okay. So yeah, let's look at Cancer here. Yeah. Push this this way. Cancer is on the fourth house. Fourth space in the sky. Right, Jack? Boom. Associated with that crab, if you can see here, you can't probably see the whole thing, but that is the crab. You know, it's got the deacons, the three deacons, just like all of them. Okay, and yeah, cancer gets birth from the fourth house. That's how it works. And you know, we also have these planets that are associated with these signs as well. Okay, so an easy way to look at astrology is you look at, like I said in one of my videos, I might have not been crystal clear, but <laughs> no pun intended. But uh, if you look at the zodiac sign, you look at the planet ruling this sign, you look at the elements, and you look at the modality. And maybe that's going to be another video where I flip the camera around to the projector, and I can be able to teach in an elementary type way to make it more easier. Give it, use my Capricorn Mercury and put it on a blueprint. Okay, so, uh, give me a second. Okay, so what do we know about cancer, not cancer, but Saturn? Let's look at this planet first. Okay, so let's look at Saturn. Saturn is your planet of limitation, of boundaries, of detachment, of your reality, how you go about getting some sort of stability in your reality. <laughs> okay, so this is Saturn. This is what Saturn is known for. Okay, so, yeah. And simply because it's, it's, it is the governor of time, okay? AKA Kronos, okay? <laughs> governor of time, you know, this is your planet of, you know, how you go about governing your time and your reality as an individual creator. Because we all have Saturns. We all have senses in common. We all have planets in common. As within, so with that, we all have a Saturn. We all have a sun, we all have a Jupiter, we all have a Venus, okay? As within, so without. Okay, so yeah, like like I say, Saturn. Saturn here being in Cancer. Okay, let's look at the opposite sign. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's go across and look at the opposite sign being in Capricorn, where Saturn is home at. Okay, so Saturn will be home in Capricorn. So when Saturn comes here, you know, goes all around to its opposite sign in cancer you know saturn we could say doesn't do the doesn't do very well here okay so saturn like i've said in one of my videos is an earthy type planet and we know earth is more left brain so when saturn comes into cancer you know it's not comfortable here keyword comfortable you know that's saturn is dealing with no cancer is in fourth house is dealing with kind of, uh, comfortability. So when Saturn comes into the fourth house, it's not comfortable here, okay? So yeah, we could say, looking at this placement, you know, we've got a, a water, you know, you put your Saturn in cardinal water. Saturn is in cardinal water, so it's like how you go about, you know, reality, real, you could have, let's say, your reality could be, it could be very easy for, you know, reality to affect your moods. You know, you could be someone who could have mood swings when dealing with your reality. You know, when dealing with, you know, your businesses, anything that has to do with your business. The business doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, you know profitable business where you're gaining some sort of income but your business is just your business okay so yeah um saturn and cancer 
yeah, mood swings it could be, you know, when dealing with business, but also emotional connection. Okay, so let's say the people you are having an interaction with in your day-to-day -day basis, you know, in your reality, you have a more, let's say, more emotional connection to the beings, you know, you have around you, you know, in your day-to-day -day basis, which is more going to be, yeah, these beings will be affecting, you know, your inner world, your feelings, your emotions, okay, your moods, okay, your comfortability, you know, you could be caring, you could come up someone who who is caring, come up someone who is caring when dealing with your business, okay, someone who is caring when dealing with your, yeah, your reality, you actually care for, you know, your reality, and here looking at this placement with Saturn being about detachment, Saturn dealing with detachment, you know, and water wanting to connect, water being with the in. This is another, you know, let's say, uh, factor that plays, you know, where Saturn, yeah, like I say, is about that detachment. <clears throat> cancer dealing with the, the, what are the cancer traits? You know, cancer traits more wants to connect to the feelings, to the emotions. So, yeah, like I say, Saturn is a more harsh planet, more reality based planet, based planet, more left brain type planet, you know, more comfortable on Earth, more com more associated with Earth and air. Okay, but when put in a right brain a sign of cancer of water in the shallow waters, it's like, you know, when dealing with relation business that has relationships that comes to businesses. You know that have to do with businesses you know in this reality we sort of know that businesses and let's say yeah is more less of an emotion you know businesses do not tend to care about the emotions and the feelings but more of the reality of what is being manifested through this business the profit the gain you know, what are you gaining externally from this reality? What is the outcome? What is the objective? You know, when we come together as a business, you know, to form some sort of a business, you know, what well, what are we trying to gain out of it? Okay, nothing personal, more business, you know, could be words that could, let's say, you could hear with this planet, nothing personal, with this placement nothing personal just business okay so uh and that that can be a learning process you know having emotional affections you know putting too much emotions you know having too much emotions and care when looking at your reality okay when looking at your reality caring too much for the re, you know, for your reality, it could be a thing. But most definitely, of course, we have to have some sort of, you know, a percentage there. We have to have, like I say, everything is balanced. My odds, seventh house. Everything got to be balanced. Okay, we got to have a little bit of everything. You know, with this placement, it's not all negative. You know, of course, you know, you have to care about your reality. You know, to take the necessary actions that will be beneficial for you. In your reality of course you have to care you know but just you know with the Saturn placement you know just the mixture okay so this is astrology in a way the way I teach it is sort of like science you know mixing uh, uh, molecules mixing elements yeah what we're doing is just missing mixing elements looking at the traits and characteristics of these actual planets see if they fuck with that element or that sign or not yeah that's truly what it is, you know, H2O, two hydrogen uh, molecules, H2O, and yeah, and one oxygen, you know, to make it plant, and that makes up the water, two hydrogen and one oxygen, that makes up the water molecule that we are all influenced by, you know, so this is simply 
in a way, how I teach my astrology. I look at the traits, you know, with the necessary, with the Virgo energies I have, the six house stellium, I'll be able to analyze with, uh, yeah, my stellium able to analyze and put things down to the details. And, and yeah, this is how I do it. And with me being a Sagittarius son, you know, I'm about that teaching. You know, me embodying my energy more is more about that teaching. Okay, so yeah, but also teaching where it's in a way you can actually look at this and be able to read it yourself because I'm just looking up at the stars and, you know, we're all stars and the easier you can learn to decipher the stars, you come closer to knowledge yourself, you know, the easier you can allow other people to know themselves as well. Okay, so yeah, this is my interpretation of Cancer in so yeah, Saturn, when you put Saturn in Cancer, it's a... Uh, Saturn doesn't like to be here, but, you know, depending on the spirit in the body and your frequency vibration and how you make it work for you, okay? You know, I used to sleep in a tent, but it's not like I made it work, you know? So, yeah, how you make it work for you. Taking what you got and making it work for you as an individual spirit with your state of being your individual state of being and your individual, yeah, your state of being, you know, your own God. Okay, so yeah, first day signing out. Catch you next now.